Ponte going to turn this into this. So here is our hammer and it's pretty rusty. There's some big chunks of rust down inside there. I've scraped a few of them out. Some of those are still pretty stuck. So we're going to soak this in some vinegar for a while, probably overnight, so that I can scrub all of this rust off really easily. That's probably the cheapest and easiest way to get rust like this off. Here is the handle. Handle's covered in this varnish, as a lot of new handles are. See, it's all shiny. So I'm going to scrape most of this varnish off, and then I'll sand it and refinish the handle. Good work the next day and now comes my favorite part you can see some chunks of rust sitting on the bottom where it's just falling off of the metal I've got some gloves on so my hands don't smell like rusty pickles and I've got a little wire brush I'm just gonna pull this out and we're gonna clean the rust off of it as soon as you take this out of the vinegar and expose it to the air it will start to rust again very quickly. Once I have all of the rust cleaned off, I will rinse it off and dry it off, and then I'll spray it with WD-40 pretty quickly so it doesn't have time to rust. So here is our hammer head, all cleaned up, got all the rust off of it. This isn't rust, I don't know what this is some sort of different metal. I don't know if it's weld or something, but it discolors uh, about 30 seconds after I clean it. Somebody can tell me what that is. Uh, let me know. It says Stanley on this side. Over here, it says Bell System. You can see I've got this sort of two-tone thing going on. I don't really know uh, a lot about metals and smithing or forging. All I know is uh, what I've learned from watching YouTube videos, so somebody can tell me if I'm correct, but I think that this color difference is just a difference in the uh, temper of the metal from the striking surfaces to the center here is tempered differently. Um, that is just on the surface, the vinegar that it was sort of etching it, but this does clean off. I use the little wire brush and you can see I cleaned these surfaces off and it just cleans off. But if I left it in the vinegar for 20 minutes, it would be back to this dark color again. So I think it looks kind of cool this way. So I'll leave it. And here is the handle. So, the handle didn't work, clearly. I went back to find a new handle, but I was having a hard time finding a hammer handle to fit in here, because for some reason most of the handles were like this, too small. But I did find one that will work, but it's uh, 30 inches long. I'll uh, get back to you once this is on here. A few inches later. And okay, there is a new handle on there. All pretty. I cut that 30 inch handle off to about 12 inches. Just going to coat it with some boiled linseed oil and we'll be finished with this thing. Okay. 
So if you're a lineman or if you've ever worked for a phone company or worked up on poles, not those poles, please leave me a comment and let me know if I get this all wrong. Uh, what makes this a lineman's hammer and not just a normal three pound straight pain hammer is that extra hole right there. Now what the internet tells me is that this hole was meant for uh, use in screwing in steps. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll put a picture of them up here. I would use this to hammer in those big step screws and then put this end over the end of the screw and they could turn it that way. I don't have any of those power pole steps, but I did have these little gate hinge uh, lags that were stuck in the side of my barn that I needed to take out. So I used the hammer to take those out. It's not exactly the right thing, but you get the idea. And that is as best I can tell how this hammer was intended to be used. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit the thumbs up button. If you did not enjoy this video, there is a special button with a thumbs down that you can click just for you if you watched all the way to this point and did not like it. If you want to see any other videos, you can hit the subscribe button. But even if you don't, I still appreciate you and I will see you next time. Thank you.